Hey there, StarCraft fans! It's Falco Paladin coming at you with yet another edition of StarCraft 2 Legacy of the Void. Today, it's going to be Serral and Beyond here on Ancient Cistern. Bottom left, it's going to be Beyond. Top right, it's going to be Serral. Alright, so this is from Katowice 2023. GSL just announced that they will give replays to Patreons at the $30 level. And I'm going to do that, so I'll be casting GSL replays for the first time in history. So if you're excited for that, just wait and we will start casting them. I don't know, maybe a couple of days after this one posts. There are some pretty good games in there. And no proxies here from Beyond on Ancient Cistern. Just walling off on the low ground. Alright, so Serral is going pool first here. Well, extractor pool first here. So he is interested in some aggression with Lings. Serral is usually a macro Zerg, but he needs to throw in aggression every once in a while. Or else everybody knows what he's going to do, right? Just uh, Serral hatching first. No need to prepare for early aggression. And it's a two racks opening here from beyond. Are they going to be Reapers? Eh? <laughs> All right, man. So three racks opener here from beyond. Maybe it's three racks reaper. Yep, a reaper opening here. But lings will be out shortly. So what beats three racks reaper? Maybe an extractor pool opening from Serral. Hmm. Brum, brum, brum. What do we got? What do we got? Reaper, reaper, cool. Yeah, man. Oh, there's that second gas. Second gas coming up here from Beyond, so it's got to be Reaper. Just three racks Reaper. What year is it, man? Beyond going one base, three racks Reaper today. Speed's already on the way here from Serral. This is great. I am so curious to see who's going to come out on top here. Oh, this is good. This is so good. All right, this this Reaper's name, submitted by subscriber Levi L, is Raymond Luxury Yacht. Which is pronounced as Throat Wobbler Mangrove. I feel like there's some inside jokes going on here that I don't recall. But that's the one. So it's Throat Wobbler here. <laughs> Mangrove. He's inside a Reaper suit. Yeah, the Lings are out. The Queen is here. Beyond says, oh yeah, this is a late hatch. Speed's on the way. Uh, I don't have an expansion yet. I am pretty well defended against Ling pressure. But the Ling defense is going to be able to shut down my guys too. I don't know what we're expecting to happen here with these Reapers, man. Is he still making Reapers? He is. He's just like, okay. Well, the best case forward here is just to go forward. I really can't just sit back at home on one base and a bunch of Reapers and expect to be fine. You know what? Honestly, I would probably go home if I was beyond here. I would just be like, well, yeah, let's take that second base. Let's stop making Reapers, start making Marines, maybe go into more traditional stuff here. Uh, surround. Nah, surrounding all the Reapers is hard when they've got the... Oh, no! Never mind. It was totally easy. Oh, crap. So, guess what? The Reapers are dead. There's one left out on the map. <laughs> Quick! Get Reapers behind the wall. Lings are running in here, too. Uh, I don't think they can get through this. Not with Reapers behind the wall. Kitty HR is getting tossed down. A bailing nest would be super cool, but Serral's like, nah, 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 nah. Nah, we're just going to get a third base instead. Third base, normal timing. What a fun opening. So yeah, if you're trying to deal with uh, <laughs> the Terran players going a three racks Reaper on you, showing up with a ton of Reapers early, open Extractor Pool. You're going to have Lings out with speed and time to handle it. No problemo. You can surround those Reapers in the middle of the map, shut them down, and then the Terran player has to completely punt on that entire strategy. Oh, we learned something today. I don't cast a lot of shorter games on the channel at the professional level, so... It's good to learn. It's good to learn what to do in these situations if you're a Zerg player. Just blindly open Extractor Pool and you'll probably be alright. I love it. So now here the problem is from Beyond. That if a billion lings show up and they've got enough banelings to bust through this supply depot, that everything's going to go pretty poorly here from Beyond. That said, Serral seems pretty happy, droning up. He wants to saturate his third base. He's not getting a Roach Worm, but he is throwing down an Evolution Chamber, which I find intriguing. He's going to go for like a plus one ling attack or I don't know. What's that evolution chamber going to be for? Armor upgrade potentially. Potentially potato. No, wait. No, that's not right. 
So this is good. I'm liking it. This is fun. Cyril being like, oh, worry about my lings. My lings might show up at any moment. You'll never know. Bjorn's like, yeah, got to keep making Marines here. Got to be ready for that bailing bus. And the bailing bus finally starts at five minutes. But I mean, pfft. at that stage, it is way beyond bailing bus timing. And it's just going to be for bailings for defense more than anything else. Because guess what? If the Terran moves out with this many Marines with medevac support, because medevacs are on the way, then everything is going to go poorly here from Cyril. He's getting carapace upgrade. Makes sense. It really helps against early Marine pressure if you've got plus one carapace on your lings. Like super, super fantastic. So here we go. Bion says, all right, we got to get some pressure on Cyril here, or he's just going to get up to like 80 workers in the next four seconds, and I'm going to die. So I got to pressure him. Ooh, fourth base from Cyril might be a little greedy. Might be a touch greedy here from our guy, but man, this game is five minutes long so far. Isn't that crazy? That extractor pool opening, the three racks reaper stuff, all that aggression, all those reapers dying. Then we macroed up, then we teched up to medevax. Now we're pushing. It's just five minutes. It's almost like nothing crazy happened. It's almost like Beyond didn't open three racks Reaper. Instead, open regular old one racks expand. He's going to show up at about six or seven minutes with a ton of Marines and Medivacs, and it's totally normal. That's kind of the power of Terran. One thing is their ability to have mules. The other power they have is to be aggressive with something like this, and it just doesn't really change much. Was the second base later than usual? Yeah, didn't really change much, right? Bion's at 45 workers. He's pushing. He's threatening here. But that Carapace upgrade is getting closer all the time. It's going to be slow bane. Nope. Hang on. Hang on. It's going to be slow banes because the uh, centrifugal hooks upgrade is not done yet. Takes a while for unupgraded marines to bust through rocks, man. These guys don't have any attack upgrades. They have stim, which helps a lot if you wanted to stim through these rocks, but... Yeah, it's kind of a waste. It's kind of a waste of stim, isn't it? Waste of medevac energy to do that. Yeah, and then knocking down the other set of rocks would be something too. So Ling's trucking around. They're going to catch this group of marines. Oh no, away from their friends. They try to get a stutter step out of there and uh, it's saved. Like four of the marines got saved there thanks to the quick actions of their other guys. Oh, I don't know if that was good. It's slow banes. The tropical hooks is like 40% complete. Plus one carapace is done for these lings, which is awesome. But plus one attack is done from beyond now. That said, it's still going to be useful even if the plus one attack is done, which it is. Siege tanks in terrible positions. Yeah, if you came into the game right now, you'd be like, yeah, this is a regular ZVT. Nobody did anything crazy to open the game. Cyril went extractor pool and beyond went opening three racks reaper. So a third base of Cyril dies. The good news is he's got a fourth base to transfer all those drones to and he's actually just fine. Thanks. Maybe that's why you have a fourth base, but it does speak to a little bit of overextending there. Getting that fourth base when he couldn't really afford it. Spainling speed is done. All right. It also gives Banelings a little bit of extra HP. Centrifugal Hooks does. It's a good upgrade. Queens fighting against smaller groups of Marines. Not Siege Tanks, though. Get out of there. Get out of there with the tanks. All right. We're going to try to... Gonna, ooh, this group. Catch them. Catch them. Got to... Oh, Beyond. Too smart, man. Okay, so free siege tank is good, but then, man, he just retreats back, lowers his wall. A lesser Terran player is not watching that group this closely, and they just get surrounded and killed by Cyril's Lings and Banes. This is, I mean, this is why these two are so good. This is why Beyond is probably the best Terran player, at least as far as Oligula goes right now. Here comes Cyril, though. Tanks are absolutely going to die. Whether you want to save the Marines or not comes up to whether you want to pick them up. And he doesn't. He wants to get a couple more Marine kill or uh, Ling kills there and Bane Ling kills. Serral, new fourth base down the right side, expanding down that right side location. So good. Liberators in production. Beyond adding those into his comp. I love a good Liberator. Getting a third CC now. Okay, that is the weird thing, right? Beyond having a third CC starting in nine minutes is weird. So that's the thing. He had to sacrifice getting a third base down in order for that timing to hit, which actually is not great. If you're a Terran fan here, this income has been favoring Cyril pretty heavily for the last five minutes. Just because he's had three bases. He had four bases for like ten seconds. And he's got four bases again. And a fifth base is on the way. And Cyril just really trying to get through that front door. Not being allowed to do so because Bion is right on top of keeping that wall up. Okay, this Liberator count is intimidating. You know what? I don't know if Cyril can handle this. This Hydralisk Den is on the way, but not near completion. He's sneaking around the back side. Cyril's going to try to get us around, at least on that siege tank. Uh, no. Okay. 
Queens can kind of deal with this Liberator stuff a little bit. The angles are going to be a little bit dicey, but Serral, okay, coming in from all three directions. I really feel like, yeah, he's setting up for just a full, full, full surround here. And he's engaging. There it is. All three directions marching in. Marines escaping the surround. Liberators fire, and the queen count is enough to break through that Liberator stuff. As long as the Marines are dead, and, well, they're not dead, but they're retreating. Queens taking big Liberator hits, but also taking Liberators down with them. Yeah, trying to unload Marines in there so that the Queens will die. Oh, no. Additional, additional Liberator reinforcement showed up here. This is all sorts of dicey all of a sudden for our guy, Serral. Again, the good news is he's got 55 workers. This, yeah, these Marines keep getting picked up. Queens trying to find angles to kill these Liberators, but the Liberator setup speed is zippy can be pretty zippy comparatively and yeah once you're out of the liberator zones though it's not really going to work out for you but yeah okay so hydras are up hydras do more damage to liberators more quickly ah the fourth base of Serral's gonna die again ah picking off reinforcing units beyond there's no safety to pull back to here friends Tank down, couple Marines down. Medivac could pick these guys up. But he's too busy, I guess, running from broodlings over here at that fourth base. So Serral's fourth base is back. It's the third base. <laughs> this is fun. Ah, no, pick him up. Oh. Bit late on the pickup. Army value is 86 to 73 in favor of Serral. Marines have a lot of good utility here, though, and so do these Liberators. But the Hydras, the Hydras make the Liberators hate their lives. Man, Beyond's macro is insane. But he's really only on two bases, which is a problem to be sure. All right, Siege Tanks. Actually not great against Ling Bane Hydra. And the tanks are gone, and that just might be your GG. Yeah, army value 70 to 35. Serral gets the win in about 12 minutes. Woo! Well done, Serral. You might have said he probably won that game with the Extractor Pool opening versus the Three Racks Reaper. I don't know if that's entirely fair to say. But it's possible. It's possible that was the case. Because he's completely shut that down, right? And from there, he's got three bases up. Did he lose a couple hatcheries today? Yes. But he always was seemed always seemed to be on at least three bases, and most of the time four for the last five minutes or so. And Beyond has never got that third base landed. He just never felt safe enough to do it. He was using this for mules and SCVs, but he didn't have the army to defend this, right? If he's kind of pressuring up here, a Ling run by would roll in and just completely wipe it out. So he just opted not to do it whatsoever. But yeah, end of the day here. Whoa, come back, mouse. Set the mouse down on the edge. It just keeps going. 12,000 resources lost from Serral. 9,200 lost from Byun. I mean, that is a lot of lings. 267 lings in only 12 minutes is a lot. 88 marines died and 9 tanks went down, though. And 5 liberators, 7 uh, seven reapers, which didn't really get as much value as I think they wanted to today. Right? Not even close. Anywho, fantastic. Like, truly, truly great display of Serral there. Did he get lucky in this game? <sighs> Kinda. Kinda did. I mean, if you go hatch first against a 3 Rax Reaper from Beyond, you're just going to have a much harder time than Serral had today. So it's just one of those games. Serral just happened to go Extractor Pool. I don't know if you read this as part of the series. Maybe you thought that Beyond would go for it here. Just kind of anticipated based on how their series had gone so far. But just in a vacuum, this is just him choosing the pool that counters three racks. Reaper getting lucky with it and just rolling with that from that point on. So, I don't know. Let me know in the comments. you think that was a lucky win for our guy? Possibly. Entirely possibly. But, you know, there's a tiny bit of that luck in StarCraft. The rest of it's execution, man. Like, I could go Extractor Pool against Bion's Three Racks Reaper opening and still lose horribly in about four minutes. Like, I would not be able to stop him at all, even though I had the correct build to shut it down. So, Serral still had to be good enough to execute on it. It just was easier to do so because he chose the right build. All right. We're talking to Serral's in circles, aren't we? End of the game there. Just, uh, yeah, the Hydras especially added to the comp there. Was the Hydra done late? Maybe. But he got it up, and he got it in time, and that's what matters. Yeah, 9 Banelings, 13 Hydras, and 39 Lings. It's not the biggest army of all time, but it's about double what Bjorn had at the end of the day. And again, Bjorn did a great job. Uh, Serral wanted to end it here a couple times. Wanted to get Lings and Banes into the base, but it was always walled up, and Serral was not willing to sacrifice Banelings to try to bust this. Probably wouldn't have worked either. And Bjorn did a, that great job catching those reinforcements coming out of the base 
and protecting them, pulling them back behind the wall so they didn't all die. There were other dudes out here, though, that didn't have the same benefit, unfortunately. Cyril was very active with his links today and gets the win. Cool. So that right there is going to be it from me today. This has been Falco Paladin coming at you with yet another edition of StarCraft 2 Legacy of the Void. Go ahead, hit that like button, hit that subscribe if you like what you saw, what you heard today. You can also catch me on Twitter, Facebook, Patreon, and Twitch, all at slash Falco Paladin. And until next time, as always, thank you so much for watching, and you take care of yourself.